Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm going to make a quick video explaining how to use the new Crosshair sites in War Thunder. Now, I'm not sure if you're aware, but in the last major update, Gaijin added this feature for ground vehicles. So you head over to ground vehicle battle settings and then head over to site settings. It will give you this nice little display and you can actually choose which reticles you would like for your tanks. So on the left, we have the nation and the rank, the battle rating for the vehicles. So you could choose any tank you want, any battle rating. And then if you head on over to the right side, you have different types of sites. So for example, if you are using an M1 Abrams and you want to be using the M1 sites, you can click on that and it adds it all for you. Uh, you can also go into more in-depth customization, so you can change the color of the reticle if you want, uh, the backlight, so I can't remember what that's for particularly. Is it? I think it's for like when you're like highlighting over certain objects which are darker, I think it changes the color then. Uh, you can also change your color for night vision, so you can have it for green. Uh, actually, that'd be terrible, so you probably want it a different color, like red maybe, or possibly black or yellow, maybe. It uh, depends on what you want. Uh, you have colors for thermal sight, so change that to blue, green again. I think green's better for thermal sights, in my opinion. Uh, you can do whatever. You can also add a range finder, which this thing here. You can also drag it around and move it into different spots if you really want to. Uh, you also have, you can also change the text on it, so you can go put um, whatever font you want. <laughs> There's the one for Russian tanks, the one for US tanks. But you can keep it at default. I prefer default. Uh, user site. Here you can see you can move around. This is your tank, so you can see which direction the turret's facing. Uh, you can also change the color again. Field of view. Uh, this you can turn on and off if you want. That's this uh, this box here, which you can also change the colors for. And you have your gun ready. So this is your reload time on. How long it takes for your tank to reload its shell. Uh, yeah, again, you can change the color. Uh, you can have different background, I believe. Or at least I think you can. <laughs> but uh, once you're done moving everything around, you can then save the preset in the top right uh, to your custom site. And you can then apply it to whatever rank and tank you want. So if you click all, you can save it for that one and it'll save it for every rank seven tank you own. It's pretty nice. And then you can also change it for different battle rings. So if you wanted to go back into a lower BR, for example, the site's set to default. You can set it up with like a leopard site if you want, but I mean, using a World War II vehicle, I mean, I'm just going to keep it on default personally, but yeah, it's, it's nicer for the modern tanks if you do have them. Uh, but no, that is just a quick little video on how you do that and you can preview it. I hope that helps. I had someone asking this in one of my YouTube shorts. But no, if you did enjoy this short little tutorial, please don't forget to give a like and subscribe as I appreciate the support. And yeah, I will see you in the next video.